You can hide the parameter by once left clicking over the parameter name in the gray box. So if I now, for example, want to hide the temperature, I can just once left click and now the temperature is gone. The data is there, so if I hover my mouse over some point, I can see the tooltip. This tooltip shows you the value of this location where your mouse is pointing at. So even though I'm not currently visualizing this temperature, I can still see the value from this point I am pointing to. You can show the older model runs by clicking the arrow buttons, these very small arrow buttons, next to the name of the parameter. So if I want to see the ECMWF precipitation intensity from the previous model run, I click the button on the left and it will be automatically visualized. Now it shows you this parameter name in a different color and it shows you E-1, meaning it's one run before the current one. If I left click right arrow button here, you can see that it comes back to this current model run. If you want all the parameters in your parameter list to be changed at the same time to the previous model run, you can simply press from your keyboard Ctrl, Shift and then the left arrow button. And then you can come back using the right arrow button. So Ctrl, Shift, left and right. You can also copy these parameters from one row to another. So if I want to copy these parameters from this row number one to row number two, here over the row number one number, I right click and then copy all my pro params. I click it, go to row number two, right click over the row number and then paste all my pro parents and they are there. Another way to do this is using Ctrl C, Ctrl V from the keyboard. So if I go back to row number one and I activate the window, so I just once left click somewhere so I can see this red area going around the window and then I press Ctrl C, go to row number three, for example, press it once with the mouse so it will be activated and then Ctrl V. The result is the same. You can also change the producers. So on my first row here, so row number one, I have ECMWF, temperature and precipitation intensity. On my row number two, I just copied those parameters, but I can change the producer to be, for example, GFS. So I right click to this row number box and then change all producers. Then I choose if I want to change model data or the observation. Well, in this case, my data is model data and I will choose GFS from the list as that was the desired output. And now the data is changed from ECMWF to GFS. You can see it from the abbreviation in the parameter list. Then on my third row, I also have ECMWF. I can change this data to be, for example, change of producers, model data, and let's change it to be, for example, GEM. In this way, it remembers my visualization settings, and this is the fastest way to copy and visualize new producers with the same visualization settings.